Hello team, myself Sharif and today we will discuss about Manufacturing Process Planner Overview. And these are all the topics which we are going to talk about. And this is an introduction about uh, MPP. As you all know that a Manufacturing Process Planner is a data management system and this is having the complete uh, product life cycle management like from raw material to end product is that all the data and processes will be managed in the MPP module. And manufacturing process planner allows design, engineering, manufacturing plant and suppliers into virtual enterprise. And MPP helps manufacturer implement the best production planning strategies by evaluating alternative manufacturing scenarios, maximize resource utilization and optimize throughput. And for manufacturing process planning to the whoever wants to work on MPP or whoever wants to learn about MPP, these are all the prerequisites required and introduction to team center course or equivalent experience or work knowledge. Like the guy should be having the team center basic knowledge and basic windows operating system commands. And along with this, when it comes to an MPP access or in installation, if we are installing the team center and we will not get the MPP module inside the team center. For that, while installing the team center, we need to select the feature MPP feature while installation so that our MPP module will be enabled in the team center. And when it comes to in licensing and if we have a team center license and if we are trying to access the MPP, it will not happen because for MPP, we need to have the separate licenses. And what is manufacturing process planner? In manufacturing process planning is an aspect of product life cycle management that helps engineers to author, simulate and manage manufacturing information while collaborating to align manufacturing plans with product design. Uh, manufacturing process planner, uh, there is a disconnection between virtual and actual world manufacturing. Here we have taken an example and this is our product design which is available in our processor which is designed in the CAD system and with, uh, with this we are going to create the engineering bill of material to in the system. And this is our actual product, which is uh, going to be manufactured and delivered to the customer. And here we have in a lot of gap between these two EBOM and MBOM and BOP. We can say like virtual world manufacturing and actual world manufacturing. Those gaps are here, like manual creation of MBOM. We are creating the uh, MBOM manually and we are updating the MBOM manually and same thing for BOP creation and update we are doing it manually so this is the impact uh, we are we have in the virtual world manufacturing and actual world man manufacturing and there are three main challenges which we can consider like uh, which is happening this lack of collaboration like first thing is MBOM is not updated as per the EBOM and EBOM and MBOM are updated but BOP are not updated and in some cases, while defining the manufacturing process planning, and we will be having some resources which are not available with us or which are out of stock. So this leads us to take a lot of time and it makes a lot of delay and it creates the costly mistakes. And for this, for root cause of lack of collaboration, here we can see that design, planning, factory and shuffle. And whenever and a factory person wants to send some feedback to the planning department in real time it is not happening it is taking a lot of time and vice versa from planning team to design and design to planning whenever we are doing some changes in the design that is in engineering bill of material and that will be communicated to the planning team manufacturing process planning team so that they can have that updated data in the manufacturing planning phase so if we are not having or communicating this information regularly so this is ca causing the lack of delay and it is make, it is leading us to make the costly mistakes and whenever we are consume, consuming the uh, data and it, we are creating the consumption gap on the floor whenever we are creating or uh, doing in the floor and this consumption gaps are happening here and how we can resolve the lack of collaboration when uh, we now we have understood the what is the uh, problem and how we can resolve this so for this we have in a design and manufacturing planning department like design is an engineering bill of material for manufacturing planning department includes the manufacturing bill of material and bill of processes so we need to bring them into collaboration so that they these two departments should have the collaboration and they should have the uh, proper communication to avoid the lack of collaboration then when we 
it comes to m bomb and why we need the m bomb we get a question that why we need the m bomb why can't we use the e bomb alone so that we will see in the next slide design engineering or e bomb is creating the structure or bomb as per the functional requirement to the product not how we manufacture and in e bomb we are just like uh, we are not defining the how we are going to manufacture so that is going to define in the manufacturing bill of material that how we are going to manufacture and what to manufacture first and that sequencing and all will happen in the m bomb so that is the reason we need the m bomb in our system and we can see that engineering bill of material owned by the engineering department and it represents the complete product architecture system function etc and e bomb should be read only for the manufacturing users because we will be having the design data here and it is owned by the engineering bill of material department so that m bomb department will not be having the access and m bomb owned by the manufacturing process planning users and in m bomb we are defining the manufacturing assemblies and manufacturing producibility view and manufacturing parts manufacturing engineer should not modify the engineering bill of material data and we have an, an, another challenge in collaboration e bomb and m bomb collaboration that is engineering change node and manufacturing change node reconciliation challenge between e bomb and m bomb so when it comes to ecn an ecn will happen in uh, e bomb side and manufacturing change node will happen in the m bomb and bop side for mcn can be independent or that can be derived from the driven from the ecn as well and we will see the example we have taken an example here like here we can see that in e bomb and design side like we have an a revision 1 and a revision 2 when it comes to m bomb we have an a revision 0 1 2 and 3 so we can see here that revision 0 is derived revision 0 and revision 1 and revision 2 in the m bomb and revision 1 is derived the revision 3 in the m bomb so this complete information or this knowledge this kind of knowledge we should have complete knowledge we should have that which revision is derived in the which revision in the m bomb and when we are going for the ecn or mcn like when we are going to do the engineering change notice and mcn like manufacturing change notice we need to consider the three things uh, mainly one is a uh, existing stock and lead time and ordering progress so these we need to keep in the mind like while making the changes in the ecn or mcn and for this what are all the best practices to eliminate this challenges for this that is a solution is e bomb and m bomb sync like we need to have the synchronize the e bomb and m bomb that means we should have the proper communication between e bomb and m bomb we should have the latest data consumed in the m bomb so to avoid all these uh, challenges what our manufacturers are doing so our manufacturers doing in a one single platform that is called integrated manufacturing so here we can define like what to build how to build and where to build in manufacturing design we are checking the compatibility with the manufacturing restructure e bomb and m bomb in analyzing the design and design assembly structure we are creating the assembly structure so this here e bomb and m bomb will comes in this manufacturing design and when it comes to manufacturing planning and process planning and plan design and resource management work instructions and consuming data from m bomb and sequencing each plant specific m bomb so here when we we go to bop and we have in a two types of bops like one is a manufacturing bill of process one is an assembly bill of process so our plm tool should be managing these bops in context with m bomb and e bomb and while creating the bop we have some constraints that are we need to create the bop based on the product layout resource which are available for example we need to check our resources what are available before creating the bop bill of processes if if, if we create the bop process and that is not available in in uh, reality and it is that is not in the stock so that is going to lead us leads to possibly mistake like our manufacturing is going to stop so we need to keep these things in our mind before Uh, creating the below bops when we are doing the process planning we should consider all the constraint what we have discussed like uh, layout and product and resources available this we need to uh, consider while planning so that we can process so that so that we can say that our process plan can execute at the shop floor without any mistakes so now we understood about how to build 
and we, we understood about what to build and how to build and where to build and this comes under in the shop floor like assigning the work areas assigning the activities and assigning the resources and schedule activities and manage real-time manufacturing information and inventory control so this is which we, we call it as an integrated manufacturing system and that is happening in the one one floor so that we can eliminate the costly mistakes and uh, we can define complete manufacturing process before before going to the manufacturing actual manufacturing so this is how manufacturers are eliminating the costly mistakes and they are defining the complete process as per their requirement without any mistakes so here we can see an example what to build here when it comes to what to build and we have in our plm system we have an uh, uh, engineering bill of material and as you can see that engineering bill of material is defined plant 1 plant 2 and plant 3 so this could be like a vehicle specific or this could be plant specific so we can have the only one engineering bomb and this one vehicle engineering bomb can be manufactured in the multiple plants so that we are we are creating the m bombs plant specific where we are going to manufacture so likewise we can utilize our manufacturing like one uh, e bomb in a plm life cycle management and we can create the multiple plant m bomb in the same one system so next when we can think about like uh, how to create m bomb without any error like when we are we discussed about how to create m bomb in m bomb we are going to define the manufacturing assemblies and we are consuming the data from e bomb to m bomb and we understood that but while creating that how we can avoid the mistakes for example when we are consuming the data from e bomb to m bomb and e bomb will be containing the n number of data and when we are consuming manually we need to consume manually while manually consumption and we don't know that how many parts we consume or else whether we have consumed everything or not so to check that, to avoid that mistake we in plm we have an option called accountability check with the help of that we are comparing the both the bomb structures and we are doing the accountability check so that we will get the exact result what we have consumed what are all not consumed from the e-bomb so by seeing that we are consuming the complete data from e-bomb to m-bomb so that this is how we can avoid the mistakes while creating the m-bomb the key benefits like we, as we have already discussed about what is mpp and how we are creating the e-bomb and m-bomb bop how it works so now this is about the key benefits and creating create manufacturing bill of material m-bomb from engineering product uh, we are as we discussed we are going to create the m-bomb with the help of e-bomb and create manufacturing process plans for product assembly so these assemblies manufacturing process plannings we are creating and configure manufacturing product structure to manage product options using variants like uh, using variants we can manage the complete structure and configure manufacturing structure using revisions unit and data effectivity and inside team center we can uh, configure our structure based on these revisions or unit and data effectivity and compare and analyze product and process structure like as we discussed about accountability check this is how we can compare between the each bombs like e-bomb to m-bomb m-bomb to bop or bop to m-bomb we can compare and analyze the differences and define process operation and activity templates to increase the productivity these processes are defined in the bop bill of processes and we are going to uh, define the multiple uh, process operations based on our activity and manage and classify manage manufacturing resources and create and save reports and create and save in a work instructions these work instructions we are going to create in the bop side so that we can add the instruction to the shop floor guy like uh, this is how you need to do or this is the drawing and we can attach the drawings so that is how we can add the work instructions in the bops and increase collaboration between product design and manufacturing and shop floor execution as we discussed about e bomb and m bomb and bop so that we can have the complete like a uh, uh, regular communication and we can keep updating the changes from the we can take the feedback from the each department and we can make the we can make the changes so that, that will be in the line and enable the use of a proven process and resources so this is about uh, manufacturing process planning overview and if you have any doubts and questions and please feel free to ask please visit our team center and nx helpline which is free and open to all plm community here you will get instant expert assistance guidance and best practices for your organization and you can also email us on mentioned email id we provide services to these siemens products and also developed our own smart port application to automate 
issue reporting and resolution thank you for watching this video